This presentation solves eight queens problems using genetic algorithm. So what is genetic algorithm? Genetic algorithm is an evolutionary algorithm uh, which, uh, which involves number of operations. The operations are selecting the initial population randomly. Selecting, next one is evaluating the fitness of each selected population and then selecting the best population. Next, we are performing the crossover, interchanging some of the genes. Next, we are mutating. And then <clears throat> the new population is again undergone the same process, evaluating the fitness function, selecting the best population, crossover, mutation. So this is an iterative process. It will be repeated until you will get the best solution. So let us apply this genetic algorithm to 8 queens problem. So we are all familiar on 8 queens problem. So in 8 queens problem, we have to place all the 8 queens in 8 different cells such that it should not be attacked by any other pairs. So the first step in genetic algorithm is selecting the or generating the initial population. Let us assume 4 different initial population and all the four populations are selected randomly. So here let us assume the first case is uh, placing our uh, first queen in second position, fourth position, seventh, then fourth, eighth, fifth, fifth uh, as well as the second place. So likewise we have selected four different initial populations. Then after selecting they are generating the initial population randomly we have to evaluate the fitness function. So for calculating the fitness function, we are using the function as finding the non-attacking pairs. So for each queen, we are finding the non-attacking pairs. How many queens are in non-attacking positions? That will be taking for evaluating the fitness function. So let us assume the first case, first population. So in the first population, you take the first a queen the first queen is placed in second position and this queen is compared with all the seven remaining queens and we are checking uh, horizontally or diagonal wise then row wise as well as column wise so in this case we have one queen which is placed in the same row so therefore in the non attacking all the remaining queens are non attacking positions. So therefore out of seven, six queens are a non-attacking pair. One queen is attacking. So for the first queen, six, the uh, non-attacking queens uh, number is six. And for the second one, so let us assume the second one is in fourth position. And again we are checking uh, the horizontal uh, uh, diagonal position as well as uh, di uh, the diagonal position row wise as well as column wise again here you can see that in row wise we have one attacking queen so therefore out of six you have five non-attacking and one attacking so therefore five non-attacking queens and for the next case the third queen the third queen, the queen is in seventh location so here we have to check all the remaining five positions you should not see the first two positions you have to see the remaining five positions of five queens so here uh, the last queen is in attacking position diagonally for all the remaining is in non-attacking pair so therefore four is in non-attacking yes and then we can see the fourth queen fourth queen is in fourth location and see here all the remaining four queens are in non-attacking positions so no issues the value is equal to four and for the fifth queen it is in the eighth position and you can compare all the remaining three none of them will in attacking not attacking world's position so therefore q5 is equal to three and for the next case sixth position sixth queen the sixth queen is 
having or is compared with the remaining two queens here the next queen is directly attacking called a row wise so the only one queen is not non attacking position and for seventh queen we have only one queen which is in the second position so it is not an attacking so therefore q7 is having one non attacking position and for the last queen there is no more comparison so therefore it is equal to zero and if you are adding all the value you will get the fitness value of this population it is 24 so this process will be repeated for all the remaining initial populations so for the second case it is 23 and for the third case it is 20 and for the last case it is 11 so this is the fitness value and next we are selecting the best fitted population for that we are calculating the weighted average and also the percentage so the first for the first population the weighted average is 24 by 78 it is 30 31 percentage and for the second one it is 29 percentage and third one it is 26 percentage and the last one is 14 percentage so now our task is to select the best fitted population so here we have selected four population out of four the first three are having about 20 percentage and the last one is having less than 20 percentage of fitness value so this is a least value so you have to only eliminate this unfitted population for the next process so in the next process is crossover so after performing selection we have selected three best population and these three best populations are undergoing reproductive process that is crossover so here in crossover we are selecting two populations and we are performing crossover for three positions so this is the resulted value and similarly for the second case again we are taking these two initial populations these are the parents and we will take get the output these are the child population so this is the uh, populations which is generated after performing crossover and next we are performing mutation so here in mutation we are shifting or we are uh, placing some of the queens in or we are interchanging the positions here one is interchange by seven and in the second case there is no inter positions and third here we have changed fourth to third position and here we have selected changed second to sixth position so this again we are performing randomly so after performing mutations we got four populations or child population and this is the new generation for the next iteration and next we have to perform uh, evaluating the same uh, new generated population again we we um, pass it to the crossover mutation this process will be repeated until we get the best solution 